Hey everyone, I'm Officer Seth Tyler with the Bellevue Police Department. Thanks for watching our fourth video blog. This blog is going to talk about preventing car crime. And to do that, I'm going to turn this blog over to our crime prevention detective, Detective Amanda Jensen, because she probably knows more about crime prevention than anyone else in the police department. So take it away, Amanda. Thanks, Seth. So what are we talking about when we say car crimes? We're talking about theft from vehicles and theft of vehicles. So basically car prowls and car theft. These are two of the most commonly reported crimes here in Bellevue, and most of them are totally preventable. Nobody wants to have their car broken into or stolen. So today we're gonna to talk about tips to keep you safe from these crimes happening to you. So normally, this is where I would demonstrate some crime prevention techniques on a boring government vehicle like this. But then I'd probably lose your attention in about a minute. So today, we're gonna to try something different. This is a 2016 Ferrari 458 with a zero to 60 time of three seconds and a 4.5 liter V8 engine. Our friends at Zidart Exotic Car Rentals on Bell Red Road loaned us this vehicle to help us demonstrate car crime prevention tips. And it's always more fun to get crime prevention tips when you're looking at a really cool car. We are gonna be talking about three very important words when it comes to preventing car crime. Those words are lock, take, hide. First, let's talk about lock. It may seem like common sense, but over 40% of the car prowl reports we take are from cars that simply weren't locked. If you leave your vehicle, even for a short time, lock the doors. This includes when you're parking your vehicle in your own driveway. Many criminals will simply try car door handles on parked cars until they find one that's unlocked. Don't make your car an easy target. Now, we've locked our really cool car. Now what? Well, we want to make sure we're not leaving valuables inside. That's where the second word comes in. Take. Don't leave anything of value in your car. Take it with you. This includes things like electronics, smartphones, windshield-mounted GPS units, purses, firearms, or basically anything that has value. Now, here's a demonstration on just how fast a thief can break a window and take your valuables. And no, we're not going to do this on the really, really nice car. One item that's often left in some cars that you might have no idea is even in your vehicle is an ignition key. That's right, many newer cars have a valet key that's included in the owner's manual for the vehicle check your owner's manual and glove box and make sure that that key is removed and kept in a safe place that is not inside the vehicle. This brings us to our third word, hide. If you're unable to take an item with you for whatever reason, then hide the item in a location that isn't visible to criminals, such as under the driver's seat or in the trunk. It's important that you hide the item before you've arrived at your destination because criminals will often park in busy shopping centers and watch for people placing items in their trunks before leaving their car. Some items, such as firearms, should never be left in an unattended vehicle. If you drive an SUV and it has a privacy shade for the cargo area, use it. Remember, it's always preferable to take something rather than hide it. So we've talked about lock, take, hide. But what about preventing the theft of your entire vehicle? Because who wants somebody joyriding around in their exotic car? Probably not you. So we talked about removing the valet key from the owner's manual. Let's talk a little bit more about keys. Never leave your vehicle running with the keys in the ignition. This includes leaving your car in your driveway to defrost in the morning. Doing so sends the message to anyone walking or driving by. Hey, free car, drive me, I'm really fast and bright red. If you park your vehicle in your garage, remove the keys at night and keep them in the same room that you sleep in. Cars are stolen each year from garages while their owners sleep. Most newer vehicles are equipped with smart keys. The keys have an electronic chip inside them that must be present for the vehicle to start. This makes it more difficult to steal a vehicle by tampering with the ignition. 
If you drive an older vehicle not equipped with a smart key, consider buying a steering wheel lock, such as the club. Also, consider buying a club that matches the brake rotors on your Ferrari. We hope you enjoyed our video blog today on preventing car crimes. Remember to always lock, take, hide every time you park your car. Keep your keys with you and remember to obey all traffic and speed laws as you drive your really, really nice car around Bellevue. A special thanks to Zadart Exotic Car Rentals for loaning us this amazing car.